good morning. I've got to be a bit quiet because it's only actually about eight o'clock in the morning. So this morning we're going down memory lane. <laughs> so I'm going to take you for a walk through the woods where we used to play out as kids. Now I used to know this place like the back of my hand. It's really overgrown. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever remember it now. I have been in it since. Yeah, so I just thought we'll go for a nice morning stroll. This could be a little bit scary because you know, obviously I'm on my own. And on my way round, I could tell you a few little stories and stuff like that. What's all that? Oh, I don't know really what that is. It's like somebody set up some kind of campfire thing or something there. Yeah, so on the way round, I'll tell you a few little stories. And when I was a little girl, I used to hang out here all the time. Literally all day would play here. All the local kids did though. So let me turn you around. You don't want, you really want to be seeing me. I don't know what that is over there. That looks like actually a tree. It reminds me of a tree. Quite recently, I mean, from when I was metal detecting. And I've had loads of coins around that tree. Yeah, some old sort of, I say old, from like 70s or something. Got birdhouse up there. Yeah, I think actually I've been in here with Dan, haven't we? Have we filmed in here with Dan? I just didn't probably get to tell my little stories though while walking around. It's only a short little word, so this could be a short little video. Oh, I remember these. Who remembers these? I used to be able to pop them. A load of juicy stuff used to come out. Uh, yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I'm just hoping there ain't actually going to be any dog walkers, really. Might make me feel a bit uncomfortable. So I'm practically going to just keep... Um, <laughs> I'm practically going to just keep the um, camera running. Now, when I was little, which way do I go? Was it up there? Yeah, well, there's two ways. I think it was up this way. Let's take a walk up this way. Might come back that way. There's lots of squirrels and stuff in here. Yeah, so I might actually just try and keep the camera running on my little walk this morning. Some acorns, fresh looking acorns out and about at the moment, look. <clears throat> Which reminds me. I might collect a load. Sammy and JP were showing me like how to make um, an acorn man. This guy does like an acorn man or something. I might collect a load for Dan. Right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go acorn picking. I think they need to be in their shells. Hmm. No, they're not very good ones. We'll keep our eyes opened. just going to keep this a nice peaceful video like I said I probably won't even cut it this woods isn't that big I mean when we're a little it's a massive you know <laughs> everything's a massive when we were little didn't they oh there's a tree here might have even been this one here and I always remember we were very good at climbing trees oh it might have been just in there a little bit and one day look at that look Jumping a shopping trolley. What's the point? Yeah, one day I was climbing this tree and all of a sudden I had this branch just go sh literally straight into my eye. My eye was horrendously bloodshot and everything. It was awful. <laughs> That's one thing that happened to me up here. Um, yeah, we've had loads of camps in here and all sorts. It's weird, you know, talking about how big things were when we were little. I mean, already I can see the back fence. <laughs> That's quite funny. That's actually quite funny, that is. So it was never as big as I sort of remember it. Yeah, I'm sure me and Dan's been in here. Done a video, maybe. Can't remember. Actually, I've got a funny idea, a rough idea, actually. I think that might have been the tree that poked me in the eye. Yeah, where's all the spots we used to have the camps? <gasps> Squirrel. Squirrel up there, look. 
Kohle. Hello. Du, 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 du. Where is he going? Hello, he's picking his head out. Hello. Oh, I should have gotten him a nut. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the cutest. Oh, he's eating his little nuts. I'm going to have to zoom in, aren't I? Because I can't on this camera. I'm trying to walk slowly, but... No, I think I frightened him. There he is, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Actually, that one don't look like one. That's black. Is that... No, no, that is a script. Is it? Oh, you won't be able to see it. That one was pure black. Would that have been a minx or whatever? Dan calls it. There's another squirrel up there. Oh, he's missing out this morning. He's actually back home editing all his... Um... Something just fell on the floor. Um, editing all his wildlife footage. Oh, I do love the woods. When I was little, I used to just come up here on my own and just have me time, so to say, you know. I will try and be quiet a little bit. Yeah, I wanted to show you some places where we had camps, but it's all looking different. We used to, we used to have sofas up here and all sorts. All the uh, acorns keep falling. Must be lots of squirrels up in the trees. Yeah, we used to have sofas and Somebody actually, look, quite a few of these birdhouses now are on the trees up there. Did you hear that? This is actually a creepy place to come at night. It really actually is. <laughs> we used to do it at night. We used to come up here. Quick little story. But we used to be just on the outskirts of the woods and all the bats used to be flying. We used to get stones on big strings, fling them around like that, up in the air, so we could watch all the bats like that. It was real good. We used to do that with my cousin, my cousin Sarah. Oh, look, the blackberries are out. They're not looking that grand, though, are they? <laughs> no. Still beautiful in their own little way, though. Yeah, still beautiful. My favourite time to go through the woods is when it's autumn and you hear the leaves crunching and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's really weird. I can't remember now where we used to make camps. It's like it's all sort of definitely changed. There was one time we used to come up here and we decided, because it, whenever we had a camp, then the bigger boys would find it. They'd nick it off us, and then all the, the, the other people on the estate would nick it off us. So we thought, right, we're gonna build an underground one. So me and my sister and me mate Mel started digging this massive hole, <laughs> this massive hole, and started, we wanted to then go under with it. And then all the people would come past and what are you doing? What are you doing? And we'd be like, nothing. Didn't want to tell them anything. Let me just show you this, look. But no, it just ended up being a massive pit. We never actually got anywhere with it. I wonder who's come along and cut that. Don't even know where that's from, really. Would it have been from there? What a lovely, that'd make a nice table in your garden, wouldn't it? gonna shush so you can hear the wildlife it's so nice you can't beat a little stroll in the woods can you is this the end of it this ain't the end of it is it if this is the end of it i'm gonna have to go back <laughs> Now apparently there used to be somebody camping up here in a tent so I don't know if I really want to go past that bit. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. It was just up here. 
gosh, this looks so different. Where am I? Where am I? Huh. That's the end of it. No way. This looks so, so different. That's really weird. Right, so that's literally the end of it. And this is actually the end. Let me take you out. I don't really want to show you too much. But this is actually the end now where we are standing at night swinging our rocks up. Oh, that's so weird. I'm going to show you also. Like, there's a little brand new play area here now. But back in the days... I mean, some people's going to understand where I am, I get that. But back in the day, this new play area wasn't there. And what it was is that we used to have a big the play area along here. Might have been more along there. It was like the real old-fashioned sort of big chunky metal slides and stuff like that. And swings and monkey bars. But unfortunately, they got rid of all that. Right, so I'm going to take a walk back in and go back, back through, I suppose. That was quicker than I thought. Yes, yeah, so talking about the slide, anyway, I always remember once, got to the top of the slide, which was massive. <laughs> well, was it really massive? <laughs> it seemed it back then. And I got my foot stuck, like between like a bar and the slidey bit. Oh, that was scary. That really was scary. I'll never forget that day. My father had to come running up to rescue me. Yeah, so just going to take a stroll back. See what else we can see. Not sure really what we're up to today. Like I said, Dan's editing his video at the moment. And later on, we're going to try and get uh, an air fryer video done, which will be interesting to check out like a total different sort. I'm sure we used to walk up this way as a kid. I don't know if I fancy that today though. Looks a bit prickly and scary, doesn't it? I'll just stick to the path. It's gorgeous hearing the birds singing at this time in the morning. It's literally only gone eight when I'd left the house. <coughs> yeah, see the fence at the back there? <laughs> that used to seem so far back. It was mad. Like I said, I'm just going to do this video. It's only going to be a small video, just for a nice little stroll this morning. I've got these silly slippery boots on. I thought I'd better put boots on because I might have to walk through brambles and stuff but they're a little, they can be a bit slippery so before I go I do want to find some proper acorns green ones or brown ones I think there was more right down there at the beginning yeah we'll go back down that way uh, yeah believe it or not I have actually metal detected this woods didn't really find anything a lot, a lot of them um, how can I put this without saying it? Um, dangerous items that's been buried basically by, let's say, teenagers. Um, yeah, which was horrendous, really, the thought of that. Knowing that kids are playing around these places and dogs walking and everything. But it's a beautiful day. Well, I say it's beautiful and you're probably wondering why I've got my coat on. I've even got... Um, <laughs> A willy jumper on today because it's actually quite chilly it was boiling yesterday but I'm actually feeling the cold today I'm definitely noticing the changes in the weather now got up the other morning on campsite oh how do I get out of here was it that way yeah got uh, got up the other morning on campsite and it was the first morning I'd seen it all misty so that's a sign then, the weather's changing, isn't it? Yep, totally different to how I remember it, but 
like I said, we used to come up here all the day, all the just time, every day, making camps, playing with the locals, you know. Knew this place like the back of my hand. Even got a few little stories actually. I haven't really told any yet, have I? I've got loads of stories about this place. Oh, there's some um, acorns. Let me just pick a couple of these up. That's how I want them. Um, I'll get some brown ones. Yeah, once when I was little, I don't know, I just had a habit of keep finding stuff. And um, I actually found two guns up here once. They're quite good, aren't they? I'll put them in my pocket. Yeah, I found two guns and a pen knife, a World War, might have been one, World War One pen knife which was fantastic. Actually, he ended up selling that in the end. But there's a funny story with that. Because one day then, when we went to um, a museum, I forget what it was now. Now, I knew my pen knife from the back of my hand. I had a certain bit broke on it, had certain scratches. And one day we went to a museum, a museum and I'm sure it was my pen knife, 100% sure it was my pen knife. So whoever I sold it to, I don't know. Or is there two out there exactly the same? <laughs> uh, want some of these like cups and that, don't we? Uh, Dan's gonna be thinking, well, what have I brought these home for? <laughs> I can make him a nice acorn man out of that. We'll see. I'll just get these, a couple more there, look. Oh, he fell out of his shell. <laughs> right, let's carry on. I think there's a few better ones down here anyway. Yeah, I'm surprised there ain't a dog walker in here yet this morning. Now, you could have gone this way to the back of it all, but I feel, I've got a feeling that's all brambly and going down there isn't really much anyway. Oh, well, here we go, here's some goodies. <sighs> Some nice ones. Right, actually, I'll just grab this bunch and then if he wants any more, I can get him some, can't I? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I found two guns here. I think I get ended up giving them to my older brother. I don't certainly have them anymore, but they're really good. Metal ones, sure they were real. Yeah. So how do I get out of here? This isn't how I came in. This is weird. No, I am off the track. Am I off the track? I don't know. <laughs> but we're coming to the end of it now, unfortunately. Give you a quick swoop round. Oh, there's a bird deck there, look. Quite big that one really isn't it? There must be a nest up here somewhere. Not seeing it though. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little walk with me this morning. Just nice to you know, first thing in the morning. Peaceful, peaceful naturistic key walk. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave this one here and I'm um, going to see you on the next. I will be starting vlogging again, by the way, and I've got lots of thank yous to do. But I will be trying to start vlogging a bit more now once we're back on campsite and stuff like that. Uh, trying to get away from these, does this thing really work videos just for a little while? <laughs> but I, I know you're all enjoying them. I can't help but just keep looking around. Just noticing different things, you know. Right, gonna love you and leave ya. Take care, hope you've all enjoyed that as much as I have. Love you lots, see you soon, bye. Honey, look what I got ya. What have you got, me? Hold your hands out. Got loads, got loads for ya. Acorns. You can make an acorn man. I don't want to make an acorn man. I thought you wanted to make an acorn man.
I really don't want to make an acorn, I'm not. 